Let's address the elephant in the room, shall we? These are my so-called big hitters. And these are the master system problem. Just pop them there so I don't drop them. <laughs> Fact is that if you're collecting for master system, sooner or later, you're going to think about going for a full set. Whether or not you do or not <laughs> is another matter, but it's going to cross your mind. And there are only so many copies of some of these games to go around. And the ones that didn't end up in landfill, most of them are already with collectors. There are already uh, a lot of people out there with full sets already, a lot. And there are so few of these left out in the wild. Um, but not all hope is lost. And that's really what I wanted to have a chat to you about today. So <laughs> I don't need to worry too much. Um, I just wanted to give you maybe a little bit of advice, hopefully a bit of a pep talk, not to give up hope. I'd seen quite a few tweets after I'd put a video out at the weekend and hadn't realised quite how many uh, views, how many hits that video would get, uh, which I'm very grateful for. Thank you very much. But um, yeah, a lot of tweets and I'd seen a couple of other videos over the last month or so of people getting to a certain point in their collection, particularly with Master System, and throwing the towel in, sort of giving up. And we've also seen, uh, I'm not on Facebook very often, but I've seen so many posts on Facebook in the last six months of people selling up and they've got to like 130, 150, maybe even 200 games and they've just hit a wall and they've said, you know what, that's it, I'm done. You know, we're, I can't get the others, it's too hard and let's move on. And there's nothing wrong with that. People have got their reasons. Um, these games do represent a monetary value, of course they do. So, you know, I, I think with uh, the cost of living and stuff, it, it probably crosses everybody's mind. I don't think you'd be human if you didn't at least consider, you know, what you'd be able to do with the money that these these would be able to raise if you were to sell up, you know. Um, yeah, so I, I suppose w with any collection, there is uh, an emotional attachment to them as well. So you're always going to be questioning... <laughs> If you, if you are going to sell up, you're always going to, then going to question, should I or shouldn't I? Um, and that's up to you. That's not what this video is about. This video really is about the main challenge or the main problem facing you is how do you pick up some of these games? So, as an example, here we've got Masters of Combat. And this one sold, which I'm sure you, you're probably already aware sold not that long ago for over £800. Is it worth £800? No, not a chance. <laughs> There's no way that the, you know, this piece of plastic is worth that much money. However, could it go for more in the, in the future? Yeah, of course it could, absolutely. I wouldn't be surprised if in the not too distant future, if this one sold for over £1,000, so is it a sound investment for you to make money, for you to improve your, uh, you know, your, your, your investment? Um, <laughs> maybe. I wouldn't, I wouldn't bank on it. Do, do I buy all of these for an inv as an investment? No, <laughs> not at all. If I wanted to invest, I'd go into crypto or I'd buy gold. Gold's pretty safe at the minute. So <laughs> if I was trying to invest to speculate, to make money, that's what I'd do. <laughs> I wouldn't be buying video games. I do this as a hobby. The fact that the prices fluctuate and they go up or down, um, you know, for this one, they've gone up quite a bit. It's by the by. I'm not interested in selling up anytime soon. Um, you know, we were talking, uh, talking to a couple of mates uh, on a group uh, uh, last week. And oh, you know, what, what if the bubble ever burst in, in retro gaming? 
And I, <laughs> I checked with a mate at the weekend and he, we were sort of both agreed. I hope it does. <laughs> I buy everything I could, you know. So um, I, I think also, I mean, look, if you're buying these as, a, as an investment, uh, they will degrade and they will, you know, the, 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 the materials that these are, are made of will break down over time. Um, I think, was it Nintendo? Uh, a few, only a few days ago, were talking, and yeah, they'd come out and said, um, like the, the Switch cartridges, um, just so people are aware, are going to start um, degrading and breaking down in between 20 and 40 years' time. I've got loads of Switch games, um, you know, some of which I paid a fair bit for, you know. Um, I, I've not played all of them yet, that's all, but I do I do play some Nintendo Switch games. I like playing Minecraft with the kids, don't judge me. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, am I going to sell my Switch collection now? No. <laughs> why would I? So, yeah, I think you've got to pick the reason why you want to get into collecting. And you've got to, if you're able to, pick your target on your goal of where you want to be. And if you want a full set, fantastic. I've got good news. It's not impossible, even in 2023. But it's going to take commitment. So a lot of the questions that I got, that I was asked on Twitter, on uh, the, the comments of the, that video that I did at uh, the weekend, um, a lot of them were asking, how much did that cost you? How much is that worth? Um, where, where did you get all of those? All these questions and stuff. So look, I'm just going to give you some general advice um, of how to take on, tackle this challenge sort of head on. So how did I do it? Uh, it took an awful lot of commitment and it, um, it took over my life. <laughs> and it will take over your life. If it doesn't, you're doing it wrong. You're not going to get a knock at the door and somebody's going to drop off all of these games just because you're looking for them. It's just not going to happen. If you're out there collecting Master System, N64, Mega Drive, and all of these other things as well, and, oh, yeah, I'll get round to Master System when I get the chance, you know, I'll pick the last 10 or 15 up that I need, you know, if, if, they, if they, you know, fall out of the sky. I mean, they might, but it's unlikely. There are so few of some of these games available, you know, like, e even, even, like, You've got like Sonic Spinball there. You know, even that's getting scarce now. You know. Um, so yeah, if you only get a full set and you're sat on like 20 to go and you're worried about the prices, um, you, you've just got to, you've got to really have laser sighted focus on those last 20. Um, and this is how I did it. Um, everybody's got their own journey. Everybody's got their own way. Um, but how I did it, I absolutely immersed myself in Master System, in the community and everything. Uh, what that meant was, yeah, I, 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 was on, I was on eBay all of the time, um, checking for new listings constantly. Uh, it, it meant that I was uh, looking on the forums. I, I was on... Uh, I was on Facebook probably more than I should have been, but yeah, you know, I was on Facebook um, talking to people on a lot of the groups like uh, Galaxy Sega and stuff like that. Uh, I, I, I had to learn. Uh, I made quite a few mistakes, but I had to learn about uh, different marketplaces uh, in different countries and have pushed myself out of my comfort zone to have the confidence to buy stuff from overseas um you know europe uh, in, in the early part uh, but then japan more recently so it's really I, I can't really say anything other than more you've got to make that commitment to yourself if you want to get that full set um then that's what it takes you know um if you're quite happy having a collection of the games that you had as a, a kid uh, and you know and you're quite happy to stop there then stop don't 
don't collect any more, you know, um, because it really is a slippery slope and it does, it can get quite addictive. It's a lot of fun as well. Of course it is. I mean, look, it's a hobby. But yeah, you know, I would, uh, <laughs> I definitely recommend if you're quite happy, you sort of, I meant to just get 50 uh, and I know Clint says the same thing. I thought, ah, oh, I get 50. It's just a nice number. I'd seen a tweet that somebody put out three, four years ago and I thought, oh, that'd be nice. I get 50 uh, and I'll stop. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, if you want to grow your, your collection like I did from 30 to over 300 in just sort of two, three years, then you've got to absolutely be certain that that's what you want and you've just got to go for it. Uh, and yeah, I mean, you've got to, it's getting involved with other collectors, talking and engaging with other collectors, actually giving a shit about them, not just what it's what's in it for you. It's getting to talk to collectors abroad. Um, I, you know, I talk, talk, talking to people that were in Germany, in France, getting to know them and, uh, and the community over there as well. And I've made some brilliant friends along the way also, you know, so hopefully that's a little bit of uh, a pep talk for you guys and to give you a little bit of hope that you can there are copies of this albeit rare that that it will come up but copies of this will come up you just got to put yourself in a position so that when it does you can buy it straight away and whether that be on ebay or another collector or a facebook group or whatever um I, so I bought, where is it? There we go. I bought my copy of Buggy Run um, over a year ago, but since buying this, I've actually had another three copies. Just literally just come up because I've been in the right place at the right time. Um, and I kept my original copy because I, I really like this one. It's in quite nice condition. So, yeah, you know, what did I do with the other ones? I sold them on to um, other collectors that were, you know, pretty desperate to have them, to be honest. Um, my buddy Alan uh, just needed this one to finish his set off. It was my absolute privilege to be able to help him out. Didn't make any money on the sale. I just sold it for what I paid. You know, um, I got another one, albeit with a, it had a, a fake um, uh, sleeve. So I, so I sold it as cart only. I've still got the sleeve somewhere because I don't really want that going back into, you know, circulation or whatever. So I just sold it cart only um, for a few quid. Uh, that helped me get, what did it help me get? Fantasy Star when I needed that for myself, you know. So uh, that's what it's all about um, for me anyway. Uh, I really want to try and help as many people as I can. I can't help everyone, I get that. But, you know, anyway... Uh, don't want to waffle too much like I say um, I just would really like people to try and stay positive I don't want to see people um, throwing the towel in because it's getting too difficult too tough but not everybody is going to complete their sets and it will ultimately come down to the people that really give that commitment um, and give it their all that, uh, that that get to the finish line I guess um, couple of other things just to mention so I did see some other videos on YouTube of people getting to sort of the the 200 mark and that's just where they're stopping and they're happy there if that's you absolutely fair play to you um, if you're happy at, at, with your collection regardless if it's complete in your mind then it's complete you know just be just be content be happy with, with where you're at and if you are then fantastic you know absolutely brilliant so um, yeah, you know, uh, I, I think that's, I think that's pretty much everything, um, that I, that I was going to sort of say. So yeah, um, look, <laughs> thanks ever so much for, um, watching the video. I really appreciate it. Um, stay positive and you will absolutely, um, you know, get there. Just, it's not, it's not a sprint. It, you know, it's a, it's a marathon. You've got the rest of your lives to finish these sets off and, there will be collectors along the way looking to sell up like there have been over the last few months or whatever. So just like I say, put yourself in a strong position by getting to know all of these people 
and being vigilant. Uh, you know, get out there, do the shopping, get out on. Um, you know, I went on the hundred mile road trips um, <laughs> last year and the year before to go and buy games. You know, and it was fun. It was uh, the journey that uh, it is is so much fun, and where you meet people, and that's what makes it so special. I think uh, with with all of the community, all of the people that um, do this hobby with us, uh, and meeting them and talking to them and enjoying you know, the passion and uh, and the fun together. All right, guys, look, I, I am going to go now. I will leave you uh, to it. Um, really important to me to see all, all of your comments on this. So if you've got your thoughts or if there's something that you're after, if I can help, I'll certainly try. Um, then, yeah, put it down below uh, and I'll, I'll try to um, read uh, all of the comments and, and get back to you guys. Thanks ever so much. <laughs> She's gone completely mad. Crazy. She got crazy. I mean, crazy. I, I said to her, you tried to see in girl's room, and she got crazy. What? I, I tell her, you got to see girl in room. You crazy about this girl, okay? Okay, so you go out to try to look at her, and Mrs. Fawlty, she got crazy.